Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Radical Red, episode 18, I think this is. Dude, we're flying through these episodes. Uh, I'm bulk recording for the week, so uh, I haven't had the chance to read any new comments from any of the new videos, just as a quick heads up, because I do like responding to your guys' comments. Uh, but yeah, uh, welcome back. We are going to take the time today to uh, get some new team members, because I said I would. Um, I forgot that I actually have a box here of Pokemon I want to use. So we're going to use these four. Um, going to build them and I'm actually going to get one more. So we're going to get five new Pokemon today for the team and we have to go over here to Vermilion to get one of them. I talked about it briefly last episode. Uh, also, yeah, by the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, please go ahead and leave a like. Uh, we talked about the Pokemon I'm about to go catch last episode. I uh, know it's not Diglett. Uh, where, 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 where is, where is he? He's not here. I am Confusion. Oh wait, time of day encounter. Hold on. Oh, I've not actually been in here. What the hell? Oh, no, there's rest. Is it? Oh, it might be in. Oh God. Okay. Okay. It might be in here. Is this? Yeah, this is Diglett's cave. Okay, so it's in this Diglett's cave, I guess. There he is. Nose pass. I don't know. I, I didn't. I, I just assumed that rock and steel was a terrible type combination, but it's kind of not. Probopass pass has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight resistances and uh, an immunity to poison. So half of the type chart this Pokemon doesn't take damage from. Uh, but it is weak to fighting and ground by four times, and it's also weak to water. However, Radical Red gave Probopass Levitate. So now it only has a five, a four times weakness to fighting and a water weakness, and that's it. That That's actually really good. I, I don't know. I thought Rock Steel was so much worse. I think because of Stack Attacker, Stack Attacker kind of like gaslit me into thinking that that type was terrible. But it's, it's, I mean, Rock types generally just have like, just have it bad. Rock types just don't have the best best type combo with anything uh, but no it's really not that bad of uh, it's just you know four times weak to rock four times weak to fighting or four times weak to ground rather uh, that's a, that is pretty bad you know having four, two four times weaknesses sucks but like there's other pokemon out there that have it a lot worse uh anyways yeah i want to use purple pass because it has levitate now so definitely got to get that we also have a snorlax here but uh, i'm gonna wait for uh snorlax because we can't have mega snorlax yet which is what i want to use it for so uh yeah we'll we'll, we'll wait for snorlax he will he will come in time let's get nose pass sorted out first why not i'm trying to think what i actually want to train this in i feel like probe pass was almost made to be like a special wall I, I like just pairing it with sand just makes it so bulky especially and i'm just trying to think like of all the types of moves that would be thrown at it i feel like special moves are, are what you're going to want to come in on you know my only thing is we already have a special wall in gudra so part of me is like oh maybe we run a physical probe pass. I, I don't know i I just I don't know what it is. I, I just can't really see this thing. I think it's just because it's two biggest weaknesses, which, you know, with Levitate, it's no longer weak to ground unless you are an Excadrill or a Haxorus with Mold Breaker. But like its two biggest weaknesses is fighting and ground, which are generally more physical moves. So I'm not really going to want to have Purple Pass in against either of those. And then its other weakness is water, which is generally more special, I think at least. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think we'll make it a special wall, maybe as an alternative mon for Gudra. I don't know. Uh, I'll just leave it calm. Honestly, it's already got the nice the nice nature. All right, fuck it. I decided to make uh, a Chinese Probo Pass spread. <laughs> <laughs> These numbers just tickle my brain. As for the HP stat, since Probopass did gain a buff in HP, I uh, calculated it with Glaceon since Glaceon has the same base. So uh, yeah, I'll have 320 HP and then the rest is going to be the same. When it's level 100, of course. I love Chinese spreads and I feel like bulky mons can get away with it. Um, Probopass actually gained a special attack buff too. So we need 19 of these, 5 of these, 5 of these. Ooh, I'm running out of money. 18 of these. Oh wow, I actually ran out of money, Jesus. Like I was saying, Oh wow, oh, uh, 18 of these, I mean, one of these, cool. All right, feather time. God, I actually need to grind more feathers in Scarlet and Violet. I don't have enough feathers. Four in Spadef, six in Special Attack, six in HP, zero in Attack, uh, six in Defense, and then six in Speed. We can actually, though, because this is, uh, we can actually use, we can actually just use one of these because uh, this is the last stat to max out. And there we go. We have the same EVs as I did on Showdown. I'm actually very happy with that. I love all, I love all the even numbers, man. It's so satisfying. Now I need him to max out all my stats. 
Thank you. And just for good use, just uh, drop my attack, please. Thank you. Sick. What a guy. So now I need to get uh, the metal coat, which uh, you can get from Skarmory. 5% chance, though. An alternative way you can get the metal coat is just by uh, buying a Beldum. I think it's 100% guaranteed to have a metal coat. Honestly, I might just buy a Beldum at this rate. Ah, finally, one with an item. I was going to say, I don't know what, like, the requirement is for it to, like, show me if it's holding an item or not. I don't know if it's always, like, guaranteed to show me or if I have to, like, do a certain amount of, like, encounters on the decks nav, but, eh, whatever. I just did a gamble and we got the metal coat. And now we can use it on our nose pass and get ourselves a probo pass. Easy as that. I do like this sprite for him. He's really cool. Battle for Red actually increased the base power of this move to 90. Interesting. I do love try attack though. Very fun move. So Radical Red seems to also do this thing that main series Pokemon does. It's very annoying. Level up from a nose pass. I think there's only like... I don't know if this is the only way you can teach him the moves, but you can get these moves by level up if you level up Nose Pass. It's just moves that Probo Pass doesn't learn, I guess. It's what main series do with our uh, Breloom and Shroomish. They make it so Shroomish learns Spore at like level 40, and that's the only way you can get Spore on Shroomish, for example. Thankfully, though, we can just teach Volt Switch by TM. I imagine we could also teach Earthquake by TM, so it's... By the looks of it, it looks like it's just TM moves, like Volt Switch, Bulldoze, Earthquake, Rock Tomb. Uh, Harden's like the only one, but you're not really missing much by not getting Harden. But yeah, it's always a thing I've not really loved about main series Pokemon games. We're not actually done with you yet, Purple Pass. We need to come up with a nickname and also get you your hidden ability. Yep, give me that Levitate, baby. Thank you. At level 74, this Purple Pass has higher special bulk and higher physical bulk than Gudra. Less HP, however, but uh, that's crazy. Pair that with, uh, I mean, just, just imagine like pairing it with like sand as well. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let's call this Colossal. I've still got the uh, the username talk on my mind. I think Colossal fits well. I do want to get Stealth Rocks on him. I think Thunder Wave is nice. Just spammable. You know, Thunder Waves is always a good thing. Cool. Team member, team of a uh, uh, seal of approval. Nice. Now it's time to look at Applin. To get Appleton, we just got to use a Sunstone. Appleton is the one we want. Uh, I'm sure you guys already know. I want to run the Mega Appleton at some point with uh, Contrary. It's definitely, I like, I like slow bulky mons. It's more my speed. And plus, I just like Appleton way more. He's just a cute guy. Look at him. I don't know why I came up with the name Planthony for my Appleton, but uh, you guys seem to like the name Planthony. So let's just, let's just stick with it. You know, let's not fix what ain't broke. As a hidden ability, he has thick fat, which I think is definitely what we want because if we're switching in uh, this Appleton for, you know, as he's not mega evolved yet, we definitely want the ability that allows him to take hits the best. Appleton's a pretty slow Pokemon, so you definitely want to do bulk. 135 special attack is nothing to scoff at. Enamorous has 135 special attack. Flarmane has 135 special attack. Maridon has 135 special attack, and Maridon is arguably one of the most broken Pokemon of all time. So, Appleton with 135 base special attack. I really gotta stop coming up with wacky fucking EV spreads for these Pokemon because nobody cares but me, and uh, it, it, the, the difference that it makes is very negative negligible but like it's it's fun to come up with I, I like it then i'm gonna go ahead and make big man a modest nature nice he has been EV trained appropriately. I <laughs> uh, don't ask me what these do. I, I no further questions. Just gotta handle him the Appleite. What the hell is going on? I genuinely I am very confused. I. Uh, uh, <laughs> Okay, Jesus, I guess I must have pressed some secret passcode to make my ROM go absolutely like just turtle mode. I need more rare candies, dude. Thank you. I do love Apple Acid. I will give it to him for now, but I know we're going to be running Draco and Leaf Storm. Probably worth giving him Leech Seed as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll have Leech Seed instead of... Uh, Instead of Apple Acid. Congratulations, Lanthony. You're going to be the first Pokemon to get use of uh, my PP Max. I severely underestimated how long this is going to take to add team members. So uh, this episode's already been like 50 minutes of me recording, but like... And the actual video length, I can't be that long. All right, let me speed this up. All right, good for the team. Let's go. Next up, cast form. Unfortunately, there's no sandy cast form. Otherwise, I would have probably done that. I think I think rain benefits our team the most. So I think, yeah, I think we go for the, the, rainy, the rainy cast form. So I believe we just hand him a damp rock, right? And then if I go into battle, you should, yep, turn into this. And... 
forecast, it starts to rain. Okay, cool. I mean, your backspite's kind of bugged. Wubba dubba dub. Oh, it's fixed now. Cool. I think max speed, max attack is what we're going to want to do for this guy anyway. I mean, max special attack. So I don't love the idea of running a uh, hydro pump, but I think it is necessary with the cast form because it's only got 85 base special attack. Uh, it's in the rain, but I think it needs any help it can get. Hurricane's great too, though. I mean, I honestly don't know what else to run. I mean, I guess we ice beam. It's not a water type if it doesn't have ice beam. I know he gets scald though, but I think if we're I don't know. I don't know what his purpose is. Oh, he gets Thunderbolt though. Wait, Thunder? Oh, yo, let's go. Yeah, we want Thunder. I knew we would find a use for the Thunder TM. Give me that. This thing looks crazy. Let's go, cast form. Ah, yeah, I remember. I was like coming over here for something and I was like, why? Ah, yeah, I wanted to swap the Safari Ball for a regular Pokeball. Thank you. I'm going to let... Uh, 14 year old Callum nickname this Pokemon. Cool. Cast form is all set. And now a part of the team. Have the mark of the team. Just two Pokemon left. Uh, Corsola. Let's make your ability unburdened. Thank you. To evolve it, we just need to level it up. Uh, we're going to do the unburdened Corsola thing that we talked about. I mean, I figured, you know, why not? So doing the math to outspeed Feromosa, which is uh, the highest thing that an unburdened Corsola can outspeed, I just need to invest this amount of speed because this times two is four four two and this is four four one at max speed so yeah uh don't need to fully invest in speed for this guy i mean we're gonna be trying to nuke things so i think we will just make it max special attack because it's 145 special attack which is really high and we're trying to sweep here so we may as well max out special attack and then whatever is remaining we'll just put an hp there we have meteor beam here you go Cursula. this is your main attack okay all right perfect i think like for Corsola, uh, Corsola, the reason why I kind of want to use it is because like it's pre-evolution kind of like outshines it usually. So I want to try and make like G Corsola work. It just sounds fun, you know. It's going to make you timid now. There you go. And you're pretty much perfect. Just need to. Yeah, well, it's got to change your moves too. And run Power Herb. There we go. Ooh, it learns Strength up a level 85, which is uh, maybe worth it actually. Might allow it to live some crucial hits. Seems most of Corsola's moves are learned by TM though. Why don't you learn Shadow Ball by level up, you absolute weirdo? It learns Mystical Fire by a tutor, which is a W. I will take that. Oh, you get Scald. Mmm, that is gross. This thing doesn't learn moves that I feel like it should. Like, it doesn't It doesn't get, um, what's the move? It gets Willow, which I'm tempted to do. Meteor Beam, Mystical Fire. Hmm. I feel like Willow might be like a nice nice move until we get Strength up. Fire, Ghost, and Rocks uh, and a uh, good enough like type combination of moves, I think. Uh, so yeah, let's do, let's do Willow. Why not? All right. Just got a uh, Meltan to do now. I'm actually super stoked about all these guys. Pretty sure this is another Metal Coat situation, right? Yep, Metal Coat. Okay, we're taking the lazy way out this time. I would like to purchase your finest Beldum. Thank you. 100k just for a Metal Coat, but whatever. Wait, you don't have a Metal Coat? Bro, did I get scammed? Did, did I get scammed? This website I'm looking at literally said, I'm so confused. It literally said, sell it on Game Corner, Beldum, 100%. Bruh. Oh, 5% metal coat. Okay, I think that's that's where the confusion came from. God damn it, dude. I just wasted money. It's whatever. It's not like I don't have infinite money. So sorry for the misinformation about Meltan having a metal coat. I, I lied by accident. At least I don't have to enter battles with Skarmory's to know if they're holding items. Very thankful. Yay. The only annoying part about it is having to reteach Shadow Ball to my fucking Zoroark. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be any benefits to keeping Meltan as a Meltan. So let's just evolve it. And we're actually at the level cap now where we get Iron Bash. We get double iron bash because the level cap's 76 and we get iron bash at 76. This man learns no moves, man. Thankfully, Melmetal, I think, is just an open and shut case of uh, max HP, max attack. I could maybe invest it specially bulky and uh, I think we'll just do max HP, max attack. Oh my God, he follows you. That's actually really cute. I like me. I like Meltan or Melmetal. I like them both. They're both cool. Wow, that, that cry sounds like, I don't know. I don't know. Sounds like Summit. All right, let's do Adamant. You know the vibes. Adamant 252, 252. He has one ability, so there's nothing to get confused about. Uh, we just want, honestly, Double Iron Bash, uh, Earthquake, which is a TM. I guess we can learn Ice Punch by Tutor, which is actually pretty good. I don't know which Tutor, though. I'm going to I'm gonna make him level 76 just because I want Iron Bash already. I'm impatient. Give it to me. Honestly, this guy could be a pretty decent Assault Vested Mon if I get, like, Earthquake on him or, like, Ice Punch or something. He gets Power Up Punch? Okay, he actually learned some pretty decent moves. Power Up Punch Melmetal might be worth. Power Up Punch is boosted by Iron Fist. I mean, like, I guess why not? All right, well, 
<sighs> We've done a lot of uh, nothing from your perspective. For me, this has been an hour and 20 minutes of my day. For you guys, it probably wasn't that long, but we got five new team members out of it. And uh, I think it's time we take on the, the next gym. That's uh, so we at least get something done. Uh, let's try and use as many of our new guys as we can. Uh, I think I think Castform will actually kick ass here. You know, Appleton, I think, can actually do good to here too because of the fact that it's, you know, it's not even weak to fire. It's, it's a dragon. Yeah, you know, I'll bring Colossal as well. Why not, man? Drop Typhlosion. And since we're going to try and use Mega Appleton. Let's bring, finally, Sunshine. And let's give Sunshine the choice scarf that he deserves. And let's, um, let's make it modest. Finally! Scarf Monkey! I feel like I'm relying on Gudra a bit, like a, like a crutch almost. Definitely my crutch. I'll keep it though. Nice little safety net. This is definitely an interesting looking team. Let's, let's be real. All right, let's give the gym a whirl then, I suppose. Yo, I'm just going to battle the trainers because I kind of just want to try my new team members. Incineroar. And would you look at the forecast? I'm a water type. I reckon I can just hydro pump you, right? Because uh, Incineroar is not the fastest. It's actually pretty slow. Is this one shot? Please tell me this one shot. Let's go, Casform! Uh, you're probably faster than me. Delphox is 104. Unless... No, you're not, because... Oh, ha fuck you, dude. Really? Re really? Is this... Uh, okay, you're, you're, you're turning me you're turning me into a, a, fly, a, a, a fire type, huh? God damn it. I'm not built for this. I'm going to switch into Colossal. And I'm going to Volt Switch out. Take the Psychic easily. Look how little this does. Shoo! Wait, switching it back in doesn't bring the rain back up? Wait, what the hell? That's so weird. I thought it would. Oh, well, let's see. Do I really miss again? Come on now. Come on. Dude, no shot. Please just land. Thank you. I think the sun ran out. Thanks, I guess. Bye. Now it's raining. Oh, God. This is such a buggy mechanic. I don't really know what's going on. Whatever. Die. I just want to kick ass with the cast form. All right. And I miss. And I miss again. And I... Dude, there's no way. Dude, there's... There's literally, I missed three in a row. There's no way. Okay, maybe I'm like, okay, Castor needs the extra power, but like, god damn, bro. Please. Dude, you cannot be serious. 80% accurate, by the way. All right, Probable Pass, show them what you're made of, Ben. Yeah, this seems looking crazy. I like it. Besides Cast Forms and obsession with missing. Fuck you, Kanto. Fuck you, Talonflame. Oh. Okoing everything with a cast form is very satisfying, though, I won't lie. And you know, 85 in each stat, like 85 defense, 85 HP, 85 special defense, it's not bad, actually. Like, it's really not bad. I can actually take a hit or two. I honestly thought it was just gonna, like, be paper and die. All right, Hurricane this bitch. Oh, okay, never mind. Fake out. Okay, that did quite a lot. It's life orb, though. Hurricane. Let's go! You fool. You are four times weak to water. Why would you send him in? You fool! You utter fool! I just completely destroyed a mega. A mega Santa Scorch. My bad. Didn't even get the chance to look at it. Why do you? Why are you? Why do you look like that? Are you okay? You're sashed, you bastard. All right, time to own this. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm Scarf and also in the rain. Nothing lives. Not even you, Ursaluna. Not even you, Mr. Kanto. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna Ice Beam you. I'm gonna Mega Evolve Planthony and I'm gonna Draco Meteor you. Let's see that back sprite. Yarr. That's so cool. I do love the design for it. Aeroblast from a Noivern. How much is that gonna do? Surely not too much, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too bad. I mean, Noivern's not super strong, but it is an Aeroblast after all. To be fair, it's not really EV trained or anything though. Ice Beam. Oh no! That probably just kills me. Yikes. Critical hit too. I forgot Needle King did that. He's evil. He's evil. He's evil. All right, fine. Whatever. I'll just... Uh, surf. Bye. Oh, you've got Hisuian Pokemon. You're so quirky and different. I'm gonna surf though. Bye bye. The fact I damn near Rokod Bravery was kind of crazy. That's spread damage too, by the way. Ooh, Earthquake City, huh? Are you breaking molds, Excadrill? Aye, uh, you're rock sliding, so probably not. Uh, Blaine now. All right, cool. We made it here. Let me save. So this is going to be an interesting battle. I'm curious, Castform, can you learn Surf? You can't. Okay. Yeah, I think I kind of have to run Hydro Pump. It's either that or Scald, and Scald is a pretty big decrease in power overall. Oh, let's give it a whirl. I'm Blaine, the Red Hot Gym Leader of Cinnabar City. My fiery Pokemon are rough and ready with intense heat. The Incinerate All Challengers. You better have a burn heal. All right, Geezer. What are you cooking? Torkoal. Okay, so I think it's the slower Pokemon that wins the Weather War usually, so unfortunately we lose the Weather War with Cast Form. That's part of the reason why Torkoal is such a good weather setter, because he just... Like, the slower you are, the... you know. So, uh, we don't need Cast Form. Uh, let's lead Colossal. Actually, I don't... hmm. 
I wonder if I send Castform in, if he will change the weather. I don't, I feel like because of how Forecast works, he doesn't change the weather. He just adapts to what the weather is. So I don't, let's just test this out. So drought comes up. I go for a Vol Switch here. I send uh, boobs in and then because of the sun already be, oh wait, no, okay, yeah. Because of the damp rock, we do get to change it. All right, good, let's go. We're on, baby. He sets up the rocks, which is annoying because I don't have anything to get rid of them. Not the end of the world though. Uh, let's just Hydro Pump and we land, let's go. That will definitely kill. Torkoal has no special defense. Next up on the list, we have Typhlosion with priority fire moves, but it's in the rain. So, oh, five focus blast. We can take that. It's not stab and we miss. Okay, miss your high up. Yep, okay, no, 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 no. I can miss a Hydro Pump. You can't miss a focus blast though. Cast form, you are a temperamental bastard. That's fine because we now send in sunshine and we're just gonna hit surf bye bye executor comes in uh okay i guess it's to make use of the sun i'm gonna go into colossal take a giga drain like a champ like a boss that did not much i'm gonna vol switch slowly he's gonna growth haha <laughs> it's not giving you many boosts because the sun isn't out idiot and then we're gonna get a clean switch into dahlia oh my god that back sprite is so small why are you so small and then i'm gonna hit a meteor beam psy shock oh no that's actually bad because that hits my physical events god damn it fuck you dude why are you i hate psy shock man why are you like why are you why 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 idiot i'm trying this again just land hydro pump this time oh charizard why okay he gets his sun back dragon pulse doesn't do too much we get a hydro pump off nice i will save you for the sun uh okay i will go into colossal air slash we resist that now i can use power gem and he switches but something's gonna take a power gem executor okay uh, this executor is very annoying i will slowly vol switch ah he got his sharply rose special because of the whatever he also has chlorophyll doesn't he i'm pretty sure he's also got chlorophyll can i set the rain back up then is this how this works yeah I guess that one time was just a bug. All right, no more chlorophyll for you. Uh, time to die, buddy. Hurricane Sunflora. It also relies on chlorophyll. Uh, I will hurricane you too. Sunflora is a grass fire type in this game, so it's a good job I hurricaned it. You are probably gonna... Oh, we got confusion. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's got chlorophyll, solar power, and early bird. It's gonna earth fire me. That's fine. I think I might die though because it's got a pretty high special attack stat. Yeah, that's fine. And it's got a lorb, so that, that, definitely, that definitely helps. Now, unfortunately, I can't set the uh, rain back up, but that's not the end of the world. Hopefully, Dahlia can get some... I want, I want to get a Dahlia going on. Oh god, okay. Okay, sunny day. So you're faster than me right now. Wait, did we speed? I think we sped tie actually because wait, yeah, I think we're speed tying. This thing must be like timid max speed because I wait, no, 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 we're not speed tying actually. I'm not fully invested. That's what's happening here. Okay, thank God I killed that because I, Jesus, I am not fully invested in speed. I did not think that that would be a problem. All right, Cinderace, I can shadow ball you. You're, oh, sucker. God, fuck, dude. Just let, just let my funny little fucking, god damn it, dude. I can't get a break with Dahlia. Fine, whatever. I don't care. Not even mad, bro. Planthony. I'm gonna drop a Draco. Pyro Ball in the sun as well. It's gonna hurt a lot. We're not thick fat anymore either. Please don't do too much. Y y yikes, 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 yikes. We live though and we're dropping a Draco. We should kill it. Let's go. Typhlosion. I just let this thing die. Colossal can handle this. I'm going to power gem oh yeah you have focus blast huh i forgot about that uh i'll take it though aha uh -huh, you missed idiot i, I think i could have taken a focus blast genuinely and then charizard comes in with the drought i power gem i took that flamethrower not so well actually but it's fine because power gem kills surely power gem kills woohoo not my cleanest victory i'm not gonna lie but uh we won using this goofy ass team we got fire blast as a tm and uh special attackers would be ideal for that move we obtained 10 life orbs let's go dude charizard i y uh wait show me oh hefty special attacks that i think it's just like uh like 120 evs and special attack or higher and we get choice specs which is the main reason i actually wanted to do that cool uh so that's blaine handled i don't remember did we go to the uh did we go to the islands after this i don't remember uh no no don't go to the sevy islands yeah because they removed them and that's a that's a post game thing now all right all right well um we beat blaine now uh so i mean i think I think pretty much all there's left to do now is gym eight, right? I don't, we'd be, 
yeah, we got to be Blaine and then uh, Claire, I guess, is the next. Actually, no, I think she is Jimmy, actually. I think if I remember correctly, Claire is Jimmy. So I don't remember who the uh, the, the eighth Jojo leader is. Maybe there just isn't one. Uh, either way, I'm going to go ahead and wrap that episode up there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully next time we can get Dahlia to do something for me. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Uh, sorry if this one's a little bit of a shorter episode uh, because of obviously I was a lot of it was just making Pokemon and I didn't really have much to say. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.